Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about the massive blizzard that rolled through, depositing snows up to a foot deep in the deserts of Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Egypt, Syria, both in the highlands as well as in the lowlands in Damascus. And my all-time favorite photo that I found so far during this series, the surfer who found moments of peace in war-torn Gaza Strip. On January 7th, another polar vortex pushed through the Middle East, creating a blizzard that deposited up to a foot of snow in the Saudi Arabian deserts. The event was so rare that people started to form not snowmen, but snow camels in northwestern Saudi Arabia. I circled in yellow so you can see where the heaviest snowfall was in Saudi Arabia. The hail and snow that came down was so intense that when it did start to melt after the temperatures warmed up, it created these massive rivers of slush. This type of snowfall is incredibly rare. And as you can see, people are so enthralled by the snow that they started to create snow art of objects and animals in their own societies. A couple more images here of camels in the snow. Also around the northern border region, Airports were closed because of heavy snowfall. You can see the approximate snow cover across the area in this photo. Also, the media is back at it trying to brainwash everybody. This is from the Weather Network. Not so rare. Snow blankets the Middle East as winter arrives for consecutive years. Yeah, what's the consecutive year? Oh, 2013? But they forget to tell you that in 2013, the last time it had snowed was 112 years earlier. So now it's the second year with super heavy snowfall, 2013 and 2015, yet somehow this is supposed to be normal and the media is back in trying to twist your opinion that this is somehow normal. It is not normal, these kind of snowfalls. All of these photos that you just saw that I'm clicking through are from 2013. Not so rare. I totally disagree. Incredibly rare. 100 year rare. A quick look at the map of the Middle East as we go through. I'll show you by country. We're going to start here in Iraq. Up to 15 centimeters of snow. That's six inches. Cities looking like this with the snow falls. Also in Kurdistan, this nation is an independent area created after the American occupation in Iraq. They also received 60 centimeters of snow. That is two feet. Notice Egypt on the Mediterranean Sea. This is in Alexandria. Notice the pounding waves and surf off of the coast from the heavy winds. Incredible hail storms and snow across the area. The Sinai Peninsula, this deep in snow before it started to melt. Let's come back. We're going to take a look along the, the eastern coast, along in Lebanon, the Gaza Strip, and Israel. My hat goes off to you, Taha. Palestinian surfer finding moments of peace. I wanted to stop at this photo for just a second here. This is so far beyond pieces of colored fabric in the breeze, flags of nations, beyond lines on paper drawn randomly called borders. This person should be winning the Nobel Peace Prize. This is so far back into what unites all humanity, nature itself, finding moments of peace in war-torn Gaza Strip, picking up a surfboard instead of a weapon, sitting peacefully instead of throwing stones. It seems that it's taken a massive snowstorm to bring us back to who we really are, all part of the same human race. These are the snow depths in Bika Valley in Lebanon, you can get an idea for the depth of the snow here and the actual snow coverage. It wasn't just a dusting of snow. Again, the media keeps using that same word, a dusting, a sprinkling. It's in the media so often now. Syria, this is sort of in the highlands, in the low mountains, a couple thousand feet tall only. Heavy snow in the refugee camps. Now notice the shovel that the woman's using here. That's not a snow shovel. That is a shovel to do gardening with or dig dirt. They're so unused to snow that they don't even have proper shovels that are flat to remove snow because they don't get snow. They get snow once every hundred years. Not only in the highlands did it snow, but down in Damascus in the uh, flat areas at sea level. 
It's the same type of heavy snow that's repeatedly seen across the planet this year in these really low 25 to 30 degree north latitude areas. Imagine coming out, playing with your kids in this snow that they never see. What kind of surprise would that be for everybody? Snow's pretty heavy. A couple more images for you. Take a look at the slush. I'm sure nobody's used to driving in that. I'm wondering how many traffic accidents there were across the Middle East. We're going to run down some more links into addition the ones that I listed on the video here. Snow in Jerusalem, snow in Damascus, snow in Istanbul, snow in Athens, snow in Algeria. The list goes on and on and on. I can't even keep up with just the Middle East snowstorm this time. If you're looking for ideas of why it's getting so cold, clear on the very right, we are in Solar Cycle 24. On the very left, in 1880s, that's Solar Cycle 12. We are below that, and the next solar cycle is forecast to be lower than Solar Cycle 24, which is going to push us back into the 400-year cooling. I think we are going to repeat a Maunder minimum. Scrap the 1880s Dalton minimum repeat. I believe we are going into Maunder minimum territory, 400-year cold temperatures. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.